Let's go! Hi everybody, today I have an Ulta and Haute look haul. I'm gonna start out with my Haute look items first and then I'll do the Ulta items that I picked up in the store and then I'm going to have a future haul video from Ulta because I did do a friends and family purchase with their 20% off and that hasn't arrived yet but I've been too antsy and I've been really wanting to film my haul just so I could start playing with my stuff. But I thought I would chit chat with you guys a little bit. I have been really into highlighters lately. The highlighter that I've been enjoying the most is this Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. It's supposed to be a bronzer, but I use this as a highlight. I didn't use it today. I use this on a daily basis for work usually. I put it on the, my cheekbones, I put it on the bridge of my nose, but lately I've been itching to try to find something even better. If you are a lover of makeup and you're one of those curious people who are like me, you'll just never feel satisfied with what you have and you just want to try more. So that's kind of the itch that I've had lately to try different highlighters. So today I'm actually wearing this Physicians Formula Happy Booster and this is what it looks like on my cheeks today. I actually love it. I, ooh, I just scratched it. Um, I actually like this so much more than I thought I was going to. I didn't use the dark gold heart. I just swirled my brush around and I put it right about there and then I put a little bit right there as well underneath my brow. But I really, really like this. This one was a little surprise for me. I thought it was gonna be Disco Ball, but this is in the color light bronzer. This gave me the highlight that I was looking for, so I'm very, very pleased with this. Positions formula and then also another rediscovered favorite that I'm using is the Balm Cabana Boy. I have that on today and at first I didn't really like this when my friend sent this to me. When she sent this to me I tried it and every time I tried it it was just too much too much and then I just finally realized I need to go in with this blush with the lightest lightest hand and a little bit goes a long way like you just barely need to touch your brush on this and then you start blending it on into your face and it's absolutely gorgeous I love this blush a new favorite so with that said moving on to the whole look part of my haul uh, the first item I picked up is the Mary Luminizer now this one everyone talks about it and raves about it and the funny thing about it is I used to own it and I was just like what can I do with this shimmery powder? It was before I understood the concept of highlighting, I think, and so I just got rid of it. I didn't even use it. I think I swatched it with my hand, and I was like, what is this crap? It's just a big, shiny mess. And then, <laughs> shortly after I got rid of it, everyone started raving about, like, it's such a great highlighter, and this is how you use it. And I was like, oh, I used to own it. So I picked it up again. It's actually showing up a lot lighter than what it looks like to me. I was kind of shocked when I first opened the packaging. I was like, this is a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. When I look at it compared to the Reserve Your Cabana, but you know what, I guess they're actually pretty similar. You can't tell on camera, but for me looking at them in person, they're pretty similar, but I'm hoping this, is, this offers more coverage and it's more finely milled. So that's my hope for this one. I will report back later on how I feel about it. And I picked up three blushes from the Balm. And again, I was, I do have blushes from the Balm, other ones that are in my collection. I just started to realize that I really, really like them. So I've never tried these in stain blushes before. So I picked up three shades. So I'm just removing them from their packaging. The three shades that I picked up are Lace. And that's what Lace looks like. Oh wow, gorgeous baby doll pink. Matches my fingernails. Oh, it really does. Hound's Tooth. Hound's Tooth actually to me looks exactly like Cabana Boy. I even swatched them earlier. Cabana Boy looks maybe slightly, slightly more shimmery. The colors to me look like exactly the same. Exactly. So, did I just say they look exactly the same? They didn't swatch the same. So let me try and pick up a little bit more of that in stain one. They're very, very similar once you blend them out. 
I also saw in Temptalia after I made my purchase that Helm's Tooth was a dupe for Cabana Boy. And the last color I picked up was Argyle. Argyle had very good reviews also. It's like a apricot color. So the Instain blushes have very good reviews on them also. So I look forward to using them. I think I paid $12 for each of these. And the shipping on Hot Look was actually faster than they usually are for makeup. One time I ordered something from Lorac and it took two months to get to me. This time it only took two weeks, so that's not so bad. I actually have one item from CCO, which I'll show you first. And this is the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in taupe. And I swatched this at the CCO store and the formula just blew me away. So I don't own very many high-end tie-in shadows. So this was kind of a splurge for me. So I'll just dip my finger in, just dip my finger in and oh my gosh, this color is just, oh my gosh, not powdery at all, very natural looking. I love it. These Wet n Wild's Color Icon Cold Crayon Pencils for your eye. And this is in the color Taupe of the Morning. And I picked this up I was originally going to Rite Aid because they had 40% off Wet n Wild. I was originally wanting to pick up their Color Icon Pencil in Taupe, but they didn't have any more. Um, and I did see this display with new eyeliners, so I decided to pick up Taupe in the morning to see how it compares to Taupe. So I do have a video on that, which I will link below. Also from Rite Aid, I picked up this Revlon blush in Naughty Nude. This was when Revlon was having 40% off their entire brand and I remember once upon a time old Revlon blushes were absolute crap I hated them and so I was gonna stay as far away from their powder blushes as possible But I had been seeing lately on YouTube that they've really improved their formula So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot One of my favorite gals Holly Eats Lipstick raved about these blushes. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it again, hopefully it'll be good. And I picked up two Revlon lipsticks and one is in Wild Orchid. I haven't opened that one yet. I haven't opened that one yet. And then the other one I picked up was Sassy Mauve. I have opened that one and let me try to do a swatchy swatchy. That was a very pretty mauve color. Also from Rite Aid, so all the things that I'm showing from Rite Aid, I purchased them in different weeks, but it was when that brand was 40% off. So these two items from Maybelline I picked up, they're the Waterproof Mascaras. This one is the new Lash Sensational. This one has a really cool looking brush. This one kind of reminds me of a Lan the Lancome Hypnos Drama Brush. So I just thought, why not? And every time I see a new Mascara from Maybelline. I just want to try it. And then this one is the waterproof the falsies big eyes And this is the one that's duo ended. It has a smaller brush and a bigger brush I think one is for your underneath and then the other one is for your top Finally get to the Ulta portion of my haul all these things were on clearance And then I had a coupon for 350 off 10 so I ended up paying like six bucks for what I'm about to show you. So the first item I got is this luxury foot treatment. You know, I think I bought this because I was walking around all day and my feet hurt. <laughs> so I was like, luxury foot treatment, $3.77, yeah, why not? But it was $25. And this says it has keratin, peptide infused, argon oil, shea butter, AHA, BHA, and GABA. I don't know what that means. Hydraulic acid and butcher's broom. Restorative, exfoliating, and conditioning. So I guess I can start using this on my tired feet. Uh, hopefully it's not a dud being on clearance and all. I don't know why I'm smelling it because it's going on my feet. It smells like peppermint. It actually smells pretty nice, but I'll stick a little on my feet. It's actually nice, it just feels like lotion. The next item I got was a pencil sharpener. This was from CoverGirl, it was $1.50. I think these are being discontinued, the CoverGirl lipsticks, and these are in the shades Ravish and Delicious. 
and I've already used Delicious. I really liked it. Uh, here it is. It's kind of like a nudie mauve. So there it is. I really liked it. It's glossy, not quite as pigmented as that Revlon I had just swatched for you earlier. And then this is the color Ravish. I haven't actually opened this one yet, but why not? I've, this is my first time actually seeing it because I'm just going off what the bottom looks like. Um, this one looks like a very vampy. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this dark. But let me swatch it on the other side. Ooh, this looks like a like a deeper... They're all kind of the same color family, so I must be in this mauve mode. But it looks like a slightly more... It looks like a slightly more cherry, deeper mauve. Now that I've hauled these items, I can start playing with them. Thanks for watching. It's Unix and bye!